sometimes they're not educated as well as other teens are. So sometimes when they be like, oh, when they go ahead and have sex and they be unprotected, they don't know what they're doing most of the time. And parents and other people don't talk to them about it. And sometimes they don't get enough education. You said the parents often don't talk about it. Give us advice. How can parents, how can you help parents talk to you, go, to you all? Because would you say the parents are mostly uncomfortable about this issue? Yeah, most of the time parents, they don't talk to their kids about sex and AIDS about that. And the children, sometimes they don't, because they don't have a good relationship with the parents. Mm -hmm. So since they don't have a good relationship, mm -hmm. when the parents try to talk to them about it, it goes through one ear and out the other. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the parents not comfortable in talking to the children about sex and AIDS about that. Did I hear somebody over here want to get in? Um, I think it's, it's a hard thing, like for for kids, like to talk to their parents about have, about sex and stuff like that. That's the thing. Like most of they get scared, you know. It's not they don't feel comfortable talking like about sex to their parents, you know. Like parents should have like more like to try like to talk to their children about sex, like in, like maybe their early age, like maybe when they turn like twelve, to teach them like about sex, you know, like that's maybe it could help people like to learn about um, sex and stuff. And if the kids had approached the parents about it, because sometimes it's hard for the parents to come to the, to the children. If you approach your parent, it might make it easier for you guys to talk about it and reach like a point. Loquatia? Um, a lot of parents, like for single parents, for example, um, like fathers, they think that their daughters or kids are too young or they don't need to talk about it because they don't know what their kid is doing. Like she said, if the parents not involved, they don't know what um, type of group their kids hang around, what influence others are putting on them. So they think they're Miss Goody or Mr. Goody or whatever and not doing nothing bad when surprises come old or they don't know how to come at their child, you know. They think they're not ready or maybe young teens, like they having kids early, they get older, they still trying to be like a kid because when they was younger and had the baby, they, they had to grow up fast. So when their kid gets older, they're not gonna be able to probably explain to them what happened because no one explained to them. Yeah, it sounds like, uh, Mary, you wanted to say? Barbara, you wanted to say? Um, <coughs> it's also about like how the parents approach the kids. Like, cause you can't just go up to a kid and just say, start yelling at him about it. Like, that's not gonna, it's gonna go through one ear and out the other. It's not, they're not even gonna pay attention. You might actually get into an argument about it. So, it's really about how you approach them. Like, if you approach them in a calm way, like, don't put them in front of a big group of family and friends mm -hmm. and try to talk to them about it. Talk to them, like, in a quiet setting and be calm about it. Don't, like, yell at them. The reality is, though, for parents, is that we don't want we don't want to admit, right, that, that, that our children might be sexually active. And that's probably the difficulty, right, having that conversation because you think by having the conversation that might encourage it. Is that true? Yeah. 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 Oh, everybody wants to get on there. All right, go ahead. But if the parent is trying to, I don't know, deny the fact that mm -hmm. maybe there is a chance that the kid is having sex, there is an increase of a chance that the child will catch an STD or HIV. If, a, if you tell a child not to do something, they will have the urge to do it. All, every child have to admit that's true. If, they, if their parents tell them no, they want to do it just to be a rebel or disobey them. The parent have to trust that they raised their kid well enough to have the information. To Open them. conversation. Yes. He said it, she's, he said, uh, she said at 12, someone said 12 at, years old. At any age, at, you, any age. at a small age, you'll have to have the connection with the child. Start early. Start off, like say something like, um, you don't want them to open the cabinet because they might fall. Start off that easily. Just tell them, explain to them the reason why you don't want them to do it.